Welcome to Friday Art with me, Kate Field. In today's lesson, we're going to explore building a sketchbook. You know that moment when you have a brand new sketchbook and it all seems just a little bit daunting. Well, today we're going to trash the sketchbook. <laughs> Bear with me. It's going to be worth it. It really is. Welcome if you are new here. I'm new here. It's all good, isn't it? It's all good. You're here, I'm guessing, because you have a new sketchbook and you don't know what to do with it. Or you have an idea of what you want to do with it, but you're not quite sure what to do with it then. And uh, oh, this is the place for you. Friday art is the place where anybody can have a go at creating some arty type stuff. I'm Kate Field and I've been a teacher for a very long time, but I am quite new to YouTube. So uh, yay, who knows? Who knows what is gonna happen? <laughs> so, are you ready? Let's get started. So we're gonna start with an empty sketchbook. You don't have to start at the beginning, you can start in the middle if you want to. It doesn't matter. But let's start with a double page. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tear some pages. So I think I'm going to take it there. We will use these bits later. Let's just take that one as well. They could be straight lines, or they could be jagged, but you're going to have some loose pages here. Now, I'm going to be using just very cheap paint, some acrylic, some poster paint. Choose the colours that you love. And I'm going through a bit of a neon phase at the moment because the weather here in the southwest of England is a bit gloomy. To be honest, I live on a hill and at the moment I'd feel that I've just been in a cloud for about a week. So I'm going to use paper plate. I'm going to put just a little bit. I'll shake this one up. The poster paint would be a bit runnier and that's fine. Acrylic paint's a little bit more uh, sticky and thicker. Now how you put paint onto the paper is up to you. There are lots and lots of different ways of doing it. Obviously, we can use paint brushes, very conventional, and that's absolutely fine as well. Or you can use various other bits and pieces, which I will show you. So a bit of sponge, a bit of cardboard and a rag. So the idea is to keep it quite dry. I'm going to start off with the rag that in there and we're just going to rub the paint onto these pages mix the colors up now in a sketchbook I like to prepare lots of backgrounds that I will then come back to. The whole point of a sketchbook is for you to try out stuff. And when we try out stuff, things are going to go wrong. And that's fine. There's no such thing as a kind of a perfect sketchbook. <laughs> Actually, that's rather nice. I might use that for something else as well. So I'll just put a bit of white over the top of that. Now the thing about not using too much water is that it will dry really quickly, which is great because then we can turn over the page. So we've got that nice line there. We could do something slightly different here. So I'm going to now pick up the sponge and start to make some marks. I just rub some of them, but quite like that texture. Look at that. 
Now, at the moment, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with these, these pages. And that is the point. The whole point of a sketchbook is for you to try things out and to be inspired by the techniques and not get too bogged down with with the details. So I'm just going to keep that as pink. I actually quite like what's happening there. Quite like that. So that's a little bit wetter. So we will leave that one to dry. So while we're leaving that to dry, I just wanted to show you some pages of um, a sketchbook that I have actually filled up now. And it's full of different techniques, different designs, different ideas, some of which I have developed further into um, canvases and some I haven't. Now, this page in particular is built up of collage pieces. And in another lesson, I will be showing you how to create collage papers and then create collage pieces. So uh, watch out for those. But as you can see, there is no theme in this sketchbook. It is just a bit of a riot, actually. Here I've just kind of had a bit of a theme, a colour theme going. I like working in small squares to try things out. And then I might take it just that little bit further and see where that might go. I love collage in lots of ways. I think it's um, very expressive and it can be something that's really exciting. In these pages, I've used bits of old music, sheet music that I picked up at a charity shop um, in Axminster, near to where I live in Devon. And uh, it was just in a bundle, it'd been water damaged. And I bought a whole load of it for a pound. So that was rather good. And I really like, it's got really lovely texture to it. So some more, some more here. Um, yeah, this is where I turn, turn my book up the other way. I say there, there are no rules. There are no rules. So this one, I used collage. And then I put some shapes. I've put stencils over the top. And I really like the feel of this. And it's this theme that I, I am taking and developing for um, a larger canvas, which is good fun. Some trashy pages. See, some of them work, some of them don't. This is oh, upside down. Now the music collage. Quite like these ones as well. So back to our sketchbook. These bits have dried. They don't take long, um, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. And now I've got this one, and I think I'm going to use my bit of sophisticated cardboard. Cardboard's great for making marks, it really is. Might just sort of tear, tear a bit off like this. Put it on there. Scrape it across. Rather liking that. Seeing the different marks just a piece of cardboard will make. And you can try out a whole load of different things with whatever you've got in mind. And this is the thing. Once you start freeing yourself up in your sketchbook, <laughs> you'll start trying out new ideas and new thoughts. And that wonderful phrase, what if? What if I did that? How might that work? And yeah, like I said, might be absolutely rubbish, but that is okay. So there we are. Quite liking that. That will take a little bit longer to dry because the paper's a bit thicker. I've got my rag, my bit of cardboard and my sponge. And uh, yeah, Let's see what I might do with this over the next couple of days. I hope to see you again. If you've enjoyed this, perhaps you'd like to give it a bit of a like and perhaps subscribe if you feel like doing that. That would be nice. 
leave a little comment, show me what you're doing. I'm also over on the whole Instagram thingy. And so that would be good. See you over there at Catefield Artist. And uh, oh, it'll be so good to see the things that you get up to. So I really hope to see you next time. Bye.